Hey everybody, yes the fishes are back. <laughs> um, today I want to show you five lipstick lip gloss combos that are perfect for summer. They focus around MAC Per lip gloss and that's Come on camera, there we go. So it's P with three R's. Most people just call it purr. But um, yeah, this is a beautiful peachy lip gloss with some pink to it. So I'm going to say a pinky peach, but it's mostly peach. But um, peach colors don't normally look that great on me, but as the weather gets warmer and I'm spending more time at the beach and the pool, I'm getting darker and so then I can get away with wearing the peachy colors whereas the rest of the year I have to pretty much stink stink <laughs> stick to anything that is sort of pink or rose based so um, yeah I'm taking advantage of this and I wanted to show you five lipsticks that pair great with this lip gloss. I'm going to show you exactly how they look together. So let's start with the least expensive because I'm going to show you combos in, at all price points. I'm going to start with the least expensive and work my way up to the most luxurious lipstick of the bunch. So let's begin with this Wet n Wild Wild Shine lipstick and you may remember this from a review that I did not too long ago and this is number 920 and let's, let's see how this looks I've, I, I actually already know how these look And then we'll put, so that's, that's what the lipstick looks like. And then we'll put some of this MAC Purr over it. And it's just a, a really pretty peachy combo. Okay. And moving on. Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Soft Nude looks like that. And I'm going to leave all the swatches on my hand so that when I'm done you can kind of see how the lipsticks compare and how they all contrast with the exact same lip gloss over them. This just might be MAC's best-selling lip gloss of all time if I had to guess. I think it's one that a lot of people own And that's how those two pair up together. And as you can see, the same lip gloss, you know, is going to take on different color, depth, dimension, depending on what you pair it with. So that's sort of a, a lighter shade of peach. Okay, and now we're going to use some actual MAC lipsticks. <laughs> and this is MAC Hue. There we go. H U E and this is a glaze finish. One of the reasons why I like doing these kinds of videos this way with the camera pointed the other way is I can see what you're seeing whereas when I film the other way I really can't tell whether words are in focus, colors are showing, if I'm pointing to the right spot. Um, of course I am going to continue to do videos with me actually in them. <laughs> but f in terms of these videos with swatches, it's just so much easier so I can see what you're seeing at the same time. Okay, so that's Mac Hue with Purr over it.
And the other MAC lipstick that I thought went well with it is Shy Girl, which looks like this. And this is a... Finish is this. Creme Sheen? Cream Sheen? Yeah. Cream Sheen. Creme Sheen. I've heard it bo pronounced both ways. So let's... Take a peek at these. And that's Shy Girl. When I tilt my hand, then you can see that it is a slightly darker peach than the um, hue. So, so far the Wet n Wild one has the most like corally orangey color to it. And last but certainly not least is a Tom Ford lipstick. And this is this is Pink Dusk. Now you might be thinking why are you going to put that peach come on focus, focus why are you going to put that peach lip gloss over a pink lipstick? Well, because this lipstick is not straight up pink. It definitely has peach tones to it, I would say. And um, I didn't purchase this. My friend Holly Anna E. Ree here on YouTube gave this to me last year for my birthday. Um, so... Yeah, this, this definitely has a peach lean to it, even though it is a pink lipstick. So, let's see what it looks like with purr over it. And it's funny because when I was looking at all my lipsticks, trying to figure out what I thought would look best with this, I said to myself, no, the Tom Ford lipstick, that isn't going to be a good match for it. And I opened up the lipstick and then I looked at the lip gloss and I was like, wow, that is a spectacular combo. So see, you just never know. So, you know, experiment. Take all your products out and, you know, pick pick one of your lip glosses and then you know kinda look at all your lip lipsticks and see what goes nice with what because you just you really never know because out of the five I kinda I like that one the best I really think that the Tom Ford in Pink Dusk looks the best with Mac Purr and you know once you see that word pink you wouldn't think to put that with a peach lip gloss but Yep, I like that one the best out of the five. So you just never know about these things. So same same nail polish as yesterday. OPI, Palevu OPI. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. And you know, it it's really fun to experiment with these different color combos. And uh, you just never know what you're going to come up with. Alright, that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.